you know, I'm dead carpet, and this is dead carpets around this episode number five. I have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Okay, YouTube recently allowed now all their users to have up to 15 minutes for their videos. So you now I have that information. I'll talk about some new magazines I got. First is Shonen Jump, the new Ultimo issue cover, you know. Um, they changed some of their designs now. And there's an Inarto pack. That's pretty cool. And, um, I changed some of their designs and stuff. Um, new Bleach episodes start August 28th. There's this one's Naruto episodes now. Then this one's DVD releases. Um, Naruto cards and all that stuff. Here's Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. It's a pretty epic game. And this issue and it goes up to where um, Sasuke stabs um, Karen. I already know what happens way after that though. And it has, you know, your cool mangas, you know. But it came with Malphic Stardust Dragon, which is um, off the new Yu Gi Oh! 3D Bonds Beyond Time movie, which is coming out in April 2011 in theaters. Here's the first third of this year's Yu Gi Oh! 10s. Just Red Dragon, and the new Dragon Knight card, and Black Wing Dragon. So those are Bound Immortals, and right there, so the Sign of Dragons now. And Dragon Ball Z Kai. This became actually very rare in Oklahoma. I can't even find it anywhere, and they sell out fast. Um, you know. And then I'm gonna get that Pokemon Volume 1, probably way this month. And new games, and all that stuff. But here's the next Yu Gi Oh pack, Dual Star Evolution with that new Dragon Knight card. Back to Year 7, you know, it's pretty cool. It's for PSP and stuff. But then I got the new Nintendo Power, it came with a cool Metroid poster, you know. Here's the new issue of Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power is 258, it's a turn 2010 subscriber edition. First story is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Talks about all the new Nintendo announcements that they had at E3. Like the 3DS, you know, it's pretty cool. Kid Icarus Uprising. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, Paper Mario. Star Fox 64 3D, Kingdom Hearts 3DS. And Star Fox Souls Cats, Mario Kart, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D. Animal Crossing, Fire 4 3D Edition. I'm gonna get a lot of those games. Said they might make a sequel to Luigi's Mansion, you know, it's gonna be pretty cool. That shows all the upcoming games they're making for 3DS and stuff. There's a 2.1 off the covers of one Black and White version. Version Ram, which is the White Fire Dragon. Some one Black version. Put one White version has Zekrom, which is the Thunder Dragon. And here's the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. It's like, like I said, it's like um, a mix between like Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, you know? The graphics are, you know? I predicted it, you know, like a few weeks before it was announced. And it shows some cool stuff. They wanted to change some stuff, like the film dungeons, and make it more, like, diverse and stuff. Then there's new Donkey Kong Country Returns, developed by Retro Studios, which made the Metro Prime Hunters games. Well, the Metro Prime games, but Metro Prime Hunters is one of the best ones, you know. I'm gonna get that Luffy Curse of the Sinistrals. Um, there's some other cool games it shows. Um, like Wii Party, it shows up there, but there's New Poke Park, Wii, Pikachu's Adventure, and One Ranger Guardian signs. Those are some cool games. Um, Kirby's Epic Yarn, that looks pretty cool. Homepage oh, for Heroes Light, I'm gonna get that. And then it called you Black Ops. That's pretty much it. The next issue is the Epic Mickey issue. Well, I got some new info to talk about me, you know. Um, I'm gonna do my cover art for my Kane Rogan demo CD soon. I completed half of the album so far. But you know, it's pretty cool. But, um, then what was else I was going to say? Um, 
I'm thinking about um, opening up a store, but my town's getting a new Walmart, so we might get other cool stuff, you know. But um, um my band is kind of in a hiatus right now because I'm um, my friend um, Lil G and Renegade, you know. They're thinking about starting their own band, and um, you know I'm going solo, you know, as Kane Robin. So um, myself as a hostage is kind of in limbo right now, as I call it. Um, that Sailor Moon game I'm making, it's going to be epic for the DS. We have made the early version of the box art, and it's pretty cool. I used GIMP to edit the photos, and now it's pretty easy. Um, what else? Um, a Sailor Moon game, I'm developing it using Unity 3D, which is a cool game engine you can download for free, which is the basic edition, not the full advanced edition, you know? download it free from their website, you know, so it's pretty cool. But, um, I'm making a cool hippie and Indian game for the Wii using that same software. It's going to be pretty epic. Oh my gosh, it's going to be epic. It's probably going to get Game of the Year, hopefully. It's called Hippie Warfare. It's about these hippies and Indians. The, Hindi the Indians won't sell the hippies their marijuana. So, like, the hippies, like, have a revolt against the Indians. I'm like, oh my gosh, so epic. They start a war, the hippies versus the Indians, but sometimes there are, some hippies are evil and some Indians are good. So, pretty epic. He plays this one hippie dude, and it's like a um, third person action game. Well, action shooting game, you know. Sort of like Grand Theft Auto, but with hippies and Indians. Yeah. Because I can already picture it right now, with like the hippie running around with a grenade and like a gun. That's pretty epic. Um, I figured out how to finally make my Pokemon games. Uh, I'm making them soon. My first Pokemon game I'm going to make is Pokemon Ori Calcum version. Won't probably be released until next year. But, you know, school is starting soon, you know. But, um, my Dead Carpet W logs, you know, started them because they are, can be short, have a lot of information. And I'm going to have to be doing a lot of them during school, you know. Because I won't have hardly enough time this year. But, um, I recently got put one Ranger version. I ordered it on eBay. I'm getting it in three to five weeks. You know, it's going to be pretty epic when I get it. I'm going to review it on video games after I get it. I probably won't review it until next season, which starts in January. So, you know. But, um, what else? Oh, I found out there's these cool HP flash drives that you can write stuff on them. I'm thinking about getting one of those, you know. But, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, I've been saying alchemy, you know. And I figured out I might create a new element. But I'm thinking the new element is actually going to be the Philosopher's Stone. And I found out using it, we can travel between different dimensions, you know. It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, pretty much it. Except that new Yu-Gi-Oh! Hidden Arsenal 2 pack came out, and I got a pack of it. And, um, I got, um, Genex Blast Fan, Genex Spare, um, Ally of Justice Reverse Break, Nature of Spider Fang, and Ally of Justice Field Marshal. Got some pretty good cards in that pack, you know? Um, they lowered Yu-Gi-Oh prices for the cards at Walmart. They were normally five dollars, but now they're four dollars. Now they've gotten cheaper. But um, since we're getting the new big Walmart Super Center in my little town, you know, since normally we only have a normal Walmart, not a Super Center, we get the Super Center. They will have the Yu-Gi-Oh magazines there, like the one they have in that other town, you know. And you know, I'll be able to get Yu-Gi-Oh magazines there instead of going up 60 miles to another town, you know. You now that's pretty much it. But you know. Thanks for watching. Peace out. See you guys later. And thanks for watching.